the issue here is uh, the lack of Google services, which is important for users outside of China, right? And even if you know Huawei's event was to say, oh, okay, we're no longer to depend, going to depend on an American supplier. Well, the reality is that even their new OS is something that lacks Google apps and Google services. So. That may be fine for China where Google isn't as relevant, but of course in overseas markets, that's going to be a big issue. Uh, and that's my major concern about this. You say fine for China. I mean, but is it sufficient what they need in terms of maintaining market share? Because questions again have already been raised as to their dominance, even in the domestic space. Yeah, well, it's funny you mention uh, maintaining market share because actually, if anything, in the past few quarters, their market share has been going quite down, uh, falling quite a bit in terms of smartphones. And a lot of that is actually a function of not even so much the software issues that we're talking about here, but the limited chip supply that they have, right? They've got a limited stockpile that they're dwindling out. They basically had to pace themselves on those on those chips remaining that such that, you know, they their 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 share has been coming down. Now, I think to your question, though, they, you know, they they're basically in a survival mode right now. They they basically said as much at their annual report announcement, basically saying they're they're doing what they need to do to survive. That means, you know, focusing on their home market in China. Uh, they could probably get by for a little bit as long as those those chips, um, you know, as long as they last them. But the problem is, they're cut off of some of the leading edge chip supplies, basically the high end like 5G stuff. They're still getting a little bit of that 4G stuff. They're not. You know, even in that China market, as much as they're that homegrown player, as much as there may be nationalism there, the reality is that if they're not, if they don't have 5G as, as one of the specs on their phones, that makes them less compelling even in their home market. So that's going to be another challenge for them on the home front, even though, yes, they will do better at home than they will overseas.